Hey guys, this is Patrick and for today's video I decided to show you guys how to take your photography indoors by building a solid, compact and even transportable backdrop support for less than 450 euros. So right after the intro I'm gonna tell you guys something about all these parts here behind me, where you can get them and how to piece them all together to set up a multi-purpose photography studio in your living room. When I was looking for a way to set up a studio area in my apartment, it had to be space saving. That was my number one requirement. I didn't want to fool around with three legged light stands taking over the floor, but rather make use of the high walls in my living room. So my first idea was to get a simple wall mount, which I figured comes with another huge downside though. Once installed to the wall or to the ceiling, I wouldn't be able to relocate my backdrop if I ever decided to move any furniture. That lack of flexibility was another no-go for me and so I did some research and learned about this setup I'm going to show you guys right now. So let's take a look at what we need and how much everything costs first. I have included links to all the products down in the description if you want to look them up yourself. And I've actually built this setup back in January and I took it down again for the purpose of this video to show you guys step by step what you need to do. So the first thing you want to get is a set of auto poles from Colormade Photo for 158 euros. So these are extendable poles with a lever to lock them between your floor and your ceiling. So I chose to go with auto poles because they take up way less space on the floor as you can see and you can easily fit them into the corners of your room. Next thing on our list is a seamless paper backdrop like this one here. They are available in all different colors and sizes, the most popular of which is 107 inches. So that's about 2.72 meters and this size gives me a lot of flexibility because I can shoot groups of up to five people without running out of background space. I also measured that this size is gonna perfectly fit on this wall right behind me and once again I would suggest you buy it off Calumet for because they don't charge extra money for oversized parcels like the auto poles or the paper backdrop in this case. So let's move on to our next component here. This entire wall mounting kit made by Newer sells for 58 euros on Amazon and it consists of two trifold hooks, three pairs of expander bars, three chains and also three counterweights. Honestly, I was a bit skeptical about the quality of this kit, but having read all the positive reviews on Amazon, I decided to give it a go and I wasn't disappointed so far. It does the job and if it ever fails, I'm maybe upgrading the expanders to Manfrotto expanders, but for now, this kit saves me a lot of money. Speaking of Manfrotto, the next thing we need are four pieces of the classic Manfrotto super clamp. We need them to connect our trifold hooks to the auto poles, so we need two on each side and that equals four. One is about 20 euros, so that's a total of 80 euros on Amazon. Guess what? We are continuing the shopping list with some more clamps here. This entire bag of Utabit clamps sells for about 10 bucks on Amazon and we will use them in the end to clip them onto the seamless paper so they act as a kind of counterweight, making the paper roll up and down really smooth. The last and most likely the only thing you can't get online are three pieces of aluminum pipes. They act as a support to the paper core to prevent it from sagging. It's important that their diameter is 50 millimeters and they also need to be a little bit longer than your seamless paper. After measuring my room, I figured that I need them to be 2.84 meters to reach all the way from the left trifold hook to the right one. I ended up getting these pipes at a local hardware store for a total of 68 euros for all three of them, which already included the fees for cutting them uh, according to the specs I provided them. So let's quickly sum that up before we puzzle everything together. Here is a list with all the expenses we had so far and that's a total of 444 euros and 15 cents. That leaves us with uh, some beer money for later but now let's start to set the thing up. In the first step we want to attach two Manfrotto multi clamps to each of our trifold hooks with regular Phillips screws. When you have finished, we have two of these trifold hooks with the Manfrotto clamps on the back and we will now attach them to the auto poles. I've got the auto pole here and what we want to do first is to measure about 15 centimeters from top down to the bottom here, just to add a little bit of spacing between the paper roll in the upper hook and your ceiling and then screw on our wall mounting kit here.
For the next step, we're gonna need our aluminum pipes. And as you can see, I wrapped something around here. So that's actually a grip tape made for carpets, um, just to make sure there is enough grip between the metal pipe and our paper core where this will go in now. When the aluminum pipe is inside your paper core, you can go on with attaching the expander bars to both sides of the aluminum pipe. We're done with all the preparations now and it's finally time to lift everything up. Place your auto poles and extend them between the floor and the ceiling as straight as you can. Then pull down on the lever to lock them in place. Get a helping hand for placing the pipes in the trifold hooks with the extender bars and make sure that they are rotating nice and easy. In the end, attach one chain and one counterweight to each slot and you're finished. So that's how I basically set up my home studio right here. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, watch all my other videos and guess see you next time. Bye bye.